Hey, good morning, guys. So today we're going to talk about how to get repeat orders from your customers. And there's a very simple little thing that you can do uh, that's really nice, uh, will bring a smile to their face, and maybe you're already doing it. You know, I don't know. But if you are, aren't, check this out. Okay, so um, last night I was talking to Kirsten on um, uh, on, face, on Facebook, uh, and she, while we were talking, I got an order, and she asked me uh, whether it was on Etsy or on Facebook, and it was like it was on Facebook, and so she's wondering how it happened. And so, anyways, I was somehow one thing led to another, and I was explaining what I had done, and this had gotten me the order, which was to. I put a little gift, usually, usually, not always, because I don't always have stuff on hand or time to quickly make it up, uh, but usually I'll put a little gift inside an order, like maybe a, um, a simple little dishcloth, like this, or I'll put a double-sided scrubby, which has um, this on one side and then on the other side it has uh, red heart uh, scrubby yarn. Um, mine's so soaking wet right now in the sink so I'm not bringing it in because it's cold and so is the water. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that's what I put in. And what I do is I wrap it up nice and neat and just a second and I'll show you this. Yes, I know, why can't I ever be fully prepared? I don't know because I wouldn't be me if I was. And then I take double-sided tape and I attach this to it, a little something for you. And what I'll do too is I'll also take my edge, uh, my edge rounder and I'll round off the edges with it by clipping it. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's how I do it. And it's always a nice surprise because no one knows when they're getting something or if they're getting something. And so it's, you know, it's just a nice thing to do. And I got to wondering, where did I get that idea from? And I couldn't remember. And then all of a sudden it clicked. It was like, I got it. So I grabbed my um, smash book and I went through and I found it. I used to do a lot of um, drawing and I did a bit of illustrating when I lived in New York. And one more time, watch me slip away. But... The cat has taken over my stool that would normally hold stuff. Um, so I used to I used to do illustrating, and then I really got into doing um, what's called zines. Zines are like just little handmade uh, mini mini uh, magazines or books or whatever. But they're all short. Everything's done. It's rather um, scrappy looking, and I love scrappy looking zines and. I put drawings in and and photos that I'd taken. I'd um, put those in, and I, I had a really bad printer at the time, so that's why some of the photos turned out like crap. And I'd throw in gr rough little draw sketches and stuff, and tell stories uh, about life with turkeys. But anyway, I had all kinds of stuff like that going on. I had Night of the Living Turkey. Um, and then I had D and K mini comics, which is what I ran for a long time with Revenge of the Cat, uh, Revenge of the Cat, Part Two, um, just all kinds of dumb stuff like this. And I started collecting zines, and I started collecting them on Etsy. And what I got the first time that I ordered a zine, I was just—I don't know what I was expecting. But it was super cool. I got Super Paws, which I don't know if she's still open or not, um, but she's in Athens, Georgia with Super Paws. And it was just so cool. I mean, this is a classic awesome zine. Hand drawn, and everything is just so neat in it. Even had a cat centerfold. <laughs> and what she had in there was the cutest business card. On top of the cute business card, she had a cute little hand drawn note that she'd done up that has that she has her website on on the corner of it and it was like that I was just so overwhelmed by it and I have no clue why it could have been a desperate moment but I thought it was just so cute the way she had done this up so anyways I ordered another zine and this one I got from someone else 
from Pig and Pancake. And I got this. And I got some other stuff with it too, but I, I, I'm not quite sure where it's at. But anyways, he had little things that he'd done in here. And it was just a rough little thing, just the way a zine is supposed to look. But it had, ready for this, a robot button. Look at that. Is he cute or what? And yeah, see, pin. So I just thought that was the coolest thing. And it was so funny because you never knew when you order from Etsy what someone was going to stick in it. And that is where I got the idea of putting something like that in. Because I wanted to give something one that same special feeling that I had when I got my crazy zines. And it was like so cool. So anyways, um, add something small, not too big, and, and something to bear in mind. When you do this, you're going to add weight to the shipping. So you want to be really careful with how big the item is that you send, okay? Uh, but I try to think of the lightest weight thing I have, and then I toss it in, and I take the loss for it. And But it's a small loss, because in the end, I'll get another order. Just like when I put this in the customer's order, uh, one like this, um, last night she ordered four more, because she really liked it, and let me know what color. And I don't have them up in my shop yet. I've got to get that up in my shop. I hope I remember that when I'm finished. Uh, so anyways, it's a great way to expose um, your customers to other products that you make. And, you know, that's one way that I get in extra orders is just from doing that. Because they see it and it's like, oh my gosh, I really like this. Can I have more? And I've done that so much with um, my uh, scrubbies that my scrubbies are really uh, my number one sellers. And, but anyways, give it a shot. And, you know, wrap it up nice and neat. Put a cute little tag on it. Um, you can get these little things. I don't know where I got this. I'm sorry. I wish I could remember it. Um, but if you shop or ask around in your groups and stuff and find out where they uh, get these tags at, because there's tags all over the place that you can get on um, uh, that are on the Internet that you can download. A lot of them are for free. And so get those. Get them up. And uh, put them in um, on your packages and stuff. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, just in case you don't know about it. And yeah, I just thought about it right now. Uh, bingo. These run, I think, like $9.99 or something like that at Walmart. You can find them in the office section. And they'll handle, you know really big sheets of paper and it's got two blades you can even um, go through set your paper and then play make a cut cut a square out in the middle of a paper if you want to add something you know fancy schmancy like that but anyways so that's it for today put something extra inside of each one of your um, cells that you can and it takes a little time because you got to have all these things extra on hand but when you have them on hand stick them in there as a special gift and bingo you'll increase your chances of a repeat sale so catch you later have a great day